Good evening, welcome to We Repair. Um, so, we are tonight we're working on our Google One X7 um, second gen. Uh, you've already seen me do the port repair on this one. Um, it's all charging absolutely fine. I've charged it for a couple of days. The existing battery is working fine. And now we're going to do the screen repair. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get this one turned, turned down and, uh, and go from there. So we'll pop the bottom case to one side. I haven't sealed it back up from when we did the previous repair. Um, if you want to see how to do the port or how to take the back off, look in my previous video and I'll try and link it at the top of this one for you. So first thing we're going to do, we'll get this battery out and disconnected. We'll get the charge port out again um, and we'll disconnect these speakers. Hopefully this will work, so we're going to have to give it a bit of a test. So we'll just pull this up, disconnect the battery. We'll pull this one up and we'll disconnect the ribbon cable connecting the bottom board and the top board. So the battery should come out now in one piece with just these four screws on the corners. So one, two, number three, and number four. That's our battery screws out. And then we just lift this out, put that to one side. And the next thing we'll do is we'll just disconnect our speaker, just like that. And again, we'll disconnect our digitizer cable as well because we're, we're down here already. I'm just going to pull that one out because it's broken anyway. So we've got one missing screw. We've got one, two, three, and four. I'm pulling this in. So one, two, number three, and number four. So that's our charge board. I'm not sure just lift out if I hadn't missed the two bottom screws. So I have a habit of missing screws in a minute. So that's that. So our board out, nice and easy. Put that to one side. We'll just disconnect our small we'll move our speaker while we're here as well. So that's just got a couple of screws holding that one in. It does actually look pretty nasty where it was uh so one clearly tried to solder without removing it. So hopefully that still works, but again I'll give that a test so we'll soon know. So that's that out. So with the bottom of our board, we're more or less done. All we need to do now is just disconnect this little cable with this little bit of tape over it. Let's do that. Disconnect this ribbon by flicking this little one up and pulling it out. Just like that. So that's that done. And then at the top here, we've got a second speaker and quite a bit more. So first things first, we'll disconnect our speaker, just like that. Then we'll disconnect the ribbon cable to this side by pulling this little clippy bit up and pulling this cable out. It should just come out. Just use a spudger. I'll just gently ease it out. There we go. And then we can start working on our board. So let's get all these screws out. Again, there's a couple missing where it's probably been removed before. So one, two, three, four. around the uh, top here. Five, six, seven. And then this should again just lift out. I'll take the ribbon cable with us. Now this one's got the camera connected to it. So I can't remember if the camera just lifts out on this one. We're we'll gonna have to give it a bit of a wiggle. I think it's gonna need a bit of a wiggle. So let's just do that. There we go. So again, this is our camera for the front, sorry, for the back, and this is our front-facing camera. So the front-facing camera just sits in this little recess here. The one facing towards you sits in this little recess here. And then we've got our mic and our headphones jack and a few other bits on the board. Just pop that out of the way. And our speakers now come free as well, which is great. So just pop that one out of the way. So the only other thing we need to do is get this side cable on. There's no nice way to do this. You need to get something flat, either a very small screwdriver or something under this. Now, this is a bit too thick, so I'm just going to get a small screwdriver to get it moving. Sometimes a little bit of heat doesn't hurt as well. So we'll just try and see if we can get it off with this first, and then we will get a bit of heat on it if we need to. I'm just trying to do it without breaking it. 
is held down with some adhesive, which is not the easiest thing to release in the world. So there you go. Once you've started it going, it's not too bad. And then just at the end here. So this end piece is a mic and this is glued down really, really well. So with this one, I am going to get some heat on it. So let me just set my temp. So I'm currently on 450 on my hot air gun for soldering, which is not what I want to be trying to release that with. So let's just drop that quite a lot. I'll just get a little bit of heat on there. Not a lot. Just to loosen the adhesive. Again, just going back and checking it every so often because the last thing you want to do is damage a delicate flex cable. We just want enough to release the adhesive. So again, that's I'm going to use a very, very minor amount of heat now. And that should hopefully there we go. Come off like that. So that's our flex out. So what we'll do on the new screen, we'll just get a bit of tape on here just to hold that in. And that's it, that is our old assembly done. All the components are out now. So this, I know it's disgusting, is just scrap metal really, there's nothing we can do with it. So I'll just unbox our new one, which is just here. I haven't even opened, taken it out of the packaging yet, so I don't know what it looks like. Let's have a look at that. I normally package these up really well. This is from a company called eBay, or like just a general eBay company. They do a lot of uh, own brand manufactured stuff and refurb, so they're usually pretty good. So there we go. Again, this is a refurbished unit, so glass has been replaced with the LCD that works. So here we go. There's no tape on this side. So that's the first thing we'll, we will sort out. I will pop some tape on that side and that will get it ready to, for the uh, new screen to be installed. So let me just grab some tape one second wherever she may be. And a pair of scissors. So again, just to hold the button in, because the last thing we want is that moving around. So I'll just pop a bit of tape on here, as neatly as I can. So this is just like double-sided, very sticky tape. I'll stick a bit at this end as well. Just get the best possible seal we can. There will be a little bit of residual adhesive on there as well, so that's as good as that's going to get. Let's make sure that's where it well pushed down. So, what we'll do is we'll just peel this off. Just two bits. Let's grab our button. And then there's a couple of little notches and things we can line up with, so I'll just do that. So you'll know if you've got it in the right place because all the notches and things will line up. So like that. So we are now all lined up. That's all back in and it's not going anywhere. So that's perfect. So Let's get this back on there now. Let's put that in there first before we put any of the boards down. This one's a little bit of a pain to get in sometimes. I'll stick a little bit of black tape over that as well. Like that. Perfect. Uh, so we'll start at the bottom this time, just for a change. So speaker back in first. Grab our two screws, put either end. There's one, and the other, and then our little daughter board. So I'll just slide that one back in there. Well, oh, that's interesting. So they've included in this a new bracket for the battery. I didn't notice that. So let's just take that out because we don't need that. We've got our original battery, and that works. Let's just remove that a minute. 
got its adhesive on it and everything, so that's brilliant. That'll be good for um, because I actually have got a new battery, so but it hasn't got the bracket on it, so uh, in future videos that'll be really handy. So that's that. Let's install our screws. So we've got our two bigger ones that go either side of the charge port. And then the rest are all little ones. Now I'm going to do the four corners this time instead of the one in the middle. Um, just because I am missing a screw and this kit will be more secure that way. So that's that. So now we will get the digitizer connection in. So again, push it in as tightly as you can. There's no markers on these to line up with anything, not like the other ones. As long as it's all the way in, it should just be able to lock it down and it won't go anywhere. Should be able to pull it out. That's excellent. And we just stick that little bit of tape over it and reconnect our speaker. So that's all put back together now. Now for the top. So take our speaker first. Drop that back on there. Lift that one up out of the way. And then our main board. Like that, and everything should just slot straight back into place like that. And then all of our silver screws go along the top half of the board. So one here, oh, sugar. One here. There's one out either side of the headphones jack. One on this side. And then I think the last one goes up there. And then I have two black ones go on the left and the right at the bottom because again we are missing a screw. So there we are numbers one and two. Over here we'll reconnect our power and volume flex cable. Like that. We connect our speaker flex cable. Which is a bit of a pain to get in because it never wants to agree. There we go. And then last but not least, we've just got our battery and then these two last cables. So batteries in there now, let's grab our screws. So one, two, number three, and last but not least, number four. Put this back down, and then one last flex, and then we're all done. We've got this nicely buttoned up and ready to roll. The only thing I haven't bought for this, which I will do away from this video, is just bought a new back because the back is cracked in several places. It doesn't particularly bother me. Um, I'm actually going to use this one for connecting up to my DJI drone, so because <laughs> the tablet's a nice size to sit on the remote on the uh, controller. And then just plug that one in. And then we'll clip the back back on. Just again, just like the other Samsung's, pushing all the way down, all the way around, and everything should just slot into place. Now let's get this turned on. All the cameras and sensors and everything have lined up. That's interesting. The battery is now saying it's not charged enough. So let's put this on charge. Let's do that. So I think this battery is not holding good charge, 
which means I might need to replace it. So that's now charging. So what I will do, I will pause the video here and I'll come back once this has had half an hour, 40 minutes of charge and we'll just see if it turns on. Right, so we're about 20 minutes later. Good news is it does actually all work. Uh, so that's the good news. Bad <laughs> news is uh, it is very much pin coded. So what I'm going to have to do, because this is an eBay purchase and the screen was broke, so whoever the previous owner is, someone called Anne apparently, has uh, not wiped their device. But it does work, everything functions. Let's just check the cameras. Yes, yeah, so the cameras work as well. I just can't get into it, unfortunately. I mean, the passcode could be anything. So what we will do is we will go through the reset process and then I will come back to you once I've done that. Well, we're now nearly 24 hours on. Uh, I left it to charge overnight um, and give it a real good complete bottom to top charge. Uh, I've done a reset and now it's working perfectly. As you can see, the screen's flawless. Um, it works as expected. Uh, the sound works, that's good. We've got, I haven't tested the camera yet, let's just give that a go. So the camera works, let's just try the other one as well. Uh, I don't know how to switch between front and back. Okay, well we won't worry about that in a minute. <laughs> let's, let's do that. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's all working. Um, so yeah, all in all, brilliant repair. Uh, really pleased with that. So charge ports working, speakers working, batteries charging, holding charge. So there we go. Perfect, uh, perfect tablet for flight of the drone. Um, yeah. So if you found this video useful, um, you've learned something on how to repair it. <clears throat> it's just been a, a general assist for you. Then please drop me a comment, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon um, so you get all of our future notifications. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.